Summary The Braggart Soldier by Plotus. In The Braggart Soldier, an egotistical man kidnaps an Athens woman, but her lover tricks him into giving her back without killing him. The play, which is often called Miles Gloriosus after its Latin name, was written by the Roman satirist Titus Machias Plotus and is based on a Greek story. In the Roman literary canon, plays often had stock characters, which are recurring characters that are used as examples of a character trope. The braggart soldier is no different. In fact, Miles Gloriosus, or the braggart soldier is the name of one of these types of characters. Pyrgopolinices, a soldier who loves to brag, is at the center of Plotus's play. He is a soldier who is more than happy to talk about his fake heroics and not very impressive achievements. Plotus uses several other types of characters besides Pyrgopolinices. These include the tricky slave, the young lover, the old man, and the young maiden. In this satirical play, the actors use Roman literary conventions and techniques to tell a funny story about lost love, misplaced pride, clever tricks, and well-deserved justice. The play starts when Pyrgopolinices comes back from a trip to Athens and goes home to Ephesus, a Greek city on the coast. He brings with him Philokomasium, a woman he took from her home. His unwilling friend is in love with a young Athens man named Plusicles, who she had to leave behind. Philokomasium is stuck in the braggart's house and can't think of a way to get out. She mourns the life Pyrgopolinices took away from her. Soon after, Pyrgopolinices's home gets a new servant. Philokomasium is happy about the unexpected ally, because the new servant is Palestrio, who works for her lover in Athens. When Palestrio heard that his master's lover had been taken, he immediately got on a ship and followed her to Ephesus to get her back. But pirates took over the ship, and one of them sold the servant to Pyrogopolinices. The two are happy about their good luck and act like they don't know each other. Palestrio writes a letter to his old master in Athens, asking him to come to Ephesus. He does this and moves into the house next door, which is connected to Pyrogopolinices' home by a wall. They cut a hole in the wall so that the two young lovers could see each other. Celadrus, one of Pyrogopolinices' slaves, sees them when he looks through a skylight. So they don't get caught, the plotters make up a lie that makes Pyrgopolinices think Philokomasium has a twin sister. This way, he doesn't punish her for her wrongdoing. Once he agrees, they start planning how to get Palestrio and Philokomasium out of the braggart's house where they are being held, prisoner. The neighbor, an old man named Paraplectomenus, is persuaded by Plusicles to act like he has a wife who wants Pyrgopolinices. They look for a fake wife and use a courtesan named Acroteleutium and her maid to trick the soldier. Palestrio tells Pyrgopolinices that she wants him to come to see her and tells him about how she feels and what she wants. Pyrgopolinices is immediately wooed, but he doesn't know what to do with Philokomasium, whom he no longer wants. Palestrio tells the soldier that he should set her free and give her jewels and money back to make up for being turned down. Pyrgopolinices agrees and offers to give her Palestrio to travel back to Athens with. Plusicles dresses up as the ship's captain to Athens, and the other two go home. The couple in love Pyrgopolinices goes to Paraplectomenus's house, where he thinks the beautiful Acroteleutium is waiting for him. Instead, he is met by his angry neighbor and a group of other people who are mad at him for trying to date a married woman. They beat him so badly that he has to pay them to stop. Celadrus, his slave, tells him that he saw the two lovers kissing at the docks after he got home on his limp. Pyrgopolinices knows he's been fooled, but he doesn't seem like he wants to do anything about it. When the lovers sail back to Athens, the play is over. Justice has been done, and wrongs have been made right. 